Look, I'm gonna tell you guys just the honest, blunt truth. It's DK and I'm back with another video. Put me on your big screen video. Shout out to all you guys that tune into the channel. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Also, do not forget to give me a thumbs up. We need this video to hit 1,000 likes. So I need you guys to start liking the video. Now, don't forget if you're a part of the crew, you already know what to do, baby. I ain't even gonna tell you no more. You already know what to do. Throw them C's up. Throw them C's up in the comment section. Now, this morning I woke up. I'm trying to go out there and get busy and make as much money as possible. We did have a load from yesterday that we have to uh, pick up and drop off today. Now, I get up, I go on roadie, and guess what? Guess what's on roadie? S -s 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 Zero. Zero orders are in my area, so we can't go out there and get busy. So, we are going to go pick up this load. We are going to drive 38 deadhead miles, 14 miles loaded, so 52 miles altogether for 125. I'm about to pull up and pick up the prize that's gold. We are here at one of our main pickups to go out here and get bucks. Oh my guy Russ said. I think it's that little thing right there because it only weighs like 100 and some pounds. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Good morning. I have, I have a load to pick up to go to Franklin Park. Okay. A few moments later. They're revising, I, were, I guess they requested a revised version of the BOL. But it's in the... Somewhere in the, yeah. in the whole Matrix thing? Yes, yes it's right. in the Matrix. Okay. So, What's going on with you, boss? How you doing? Good. How I'm you? going to Franklin Park. We think that's it. Okay, yeah. But when? Waiting on a revised one. Oh, she get one? Okay. She did. Yeah, she, yeah, she doesn't have, have it yet. Yeah, because she got an L-150 today. But I'll, I'll move that over there. Meet you in the back? Yeah. All right, appreciate yeah. you guys. That's what I'm talking about. Nice and easy. Trying to get this money right quick. Oh, 130 pounds. We could have carried this joint. It's, uh, it's, it's 200 because they added the second piece to it. But it's right. Still, it's still like, sweet. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Trying to get ready to get my pockets tight. Right there is perfect. Yes, sir. They get that paperwork so we can make that paperwork. <coughs> Y'all see what it is, baby. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Hey, I know y'all wanna check it out. Let's go. And we are here at the drop off. Shout out to my guy, Ron, baby. He is the owner of this company. <coughs> he be in here getting this money, understand me. Understand me. The man with the plan, we meet again. How you doing? Good, good. I got one coming from- I gotta bring these up to the back, okay? Okay, no problem. A few moments later. Oh, no, I'm dropping off. Dropping off? Yeah. Are you picking anything up? No, they didn't sell me to. I wish, uh, I wish. Oh, because I got a huge order that's going right back to them. Really? Yeah, two big skids. I thought you were here for pickup. Okay, don't worry about it. I wish they I wish they'd let me know that because I definitely would take it back. I gotta go that way anyway. You were supposed to pick these up today, that's why I thought you were just here for Oh yeah. They need to let me double trip, Ryan. I'm gonna make that money. They need to let me do it all. Yeah, you know, save time, right? Exactly. Yes, sir. Ron, how long you been doing this? Oh, uh, You don't even want to tell me. <laughs> 38 years. 38 years? So you were welder. You're a welder by trade or? Uh, no, machinist. Oh, machinist. Yeah. Did you have to go to school for a while? Yeah, I went to college. My guy, Ron. So it's Maybe I'll try to stay around here and see if they're going to call me yeah. and let me know about it. No, it's a, it's a family business. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so my cousin and I own it. Oh, that's what keep it in the family. Keep it well in the family. There you go. I know it's some good days and some bad days, but hey, <laughs> yeah, I know. You got that right. Here you go, Ron. Thank you very much. Hopefully, I'll see you again. Okay, thank you, you have a good one. 
So, as you guys heard, my guy Ron thought I was actually picking up those two pallets instead of dropping off the one pallet that I had to drop off. I wish I was doing both. I wish I was picking that one up, well, dropping that one off, and then picking those two up. But, unfortunately, the carrier company sent the order out hours later, baby. So, I had to keep on moving and grooving. Now, I do want to get into this. I do want to say that is a huge difference. I know everybody always talk about get on the low boards do this carrier companies doing all that stuff. But that is a huge difference from the gig apps because if it was a gig app, it's possible I could have reached out to them and let them know, hey, they have another load here. They want me to take this other one back. And I kind of got could have got like a kind of like a return trip and got double the money at the same time. But unfortunately with the carrier company, there's nothing I really can do. I don't have nobody to contact. I can't contact the dispatcher, but the load may not even be in the in the, uh, system yet. So I don't know what to do, baby. Comment below and let me know what you guys think about that. But we are going to keep on trying to get busy. I'm glad you guys are with me. We're trying to move kind of swiftly. Let's get it. One hour later. So as of right now, it has been going terribly slow. We haven't really been getting in no orders like... The roadie hasn't been going off. The carrier company has been sending some loads out, but they want us to go to Michigan or something like that. But I'm not doing that, baby. I try to stay um, north. I try to stay north between Illinois and Wisconsin because it's way less traffic and you don't have to pay for the tolls. So that's the reason why I try to stay in that area because I live close to the border. So I could just, uh, I'm like in the middle between Milwaukee and Chicago. It's like a sweet spot. That's, the, that's what I'm trying to do. That's my little, my little area, my little niche that I'm trying to get busy with. Now, I want to talk to you guys about a few things. And I'm trying to uh, start like adding this type of stuff in the video so I can give you guys more context on what's going on with us and how we do things just so you guys get a little bit more information. And it's not all about me running around getting busy on the apps. And I do love to get busy on the apps, but I think that you guys enjoy the, from, from the feedback I got, you guys enjoy the, uh, the Van Talk episode one. And also get your questions ready because Van Talk episode two will be dropping Friday. We're going to put the link in the community post for you guys to uh, ask your extra questions. So make sure you guys are getting your questions ready so we keep it steady. Double back if you let me. The one thing I want to talk to you guys about is gas. I always get questions about gas, 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 gas. Look, I'm going to tell you guys just the honest, blunt truth. If you are worried about gas, do not start this business. Do not get a cargo van and worry about gas because it's not going to work. If your main focus is you so busy worrying about gas, then this is not for you. That means that you shouldn't, you haven't saved up enough money to get into this business. I told you guys in the van talk, if you do not have money saved up, do not start. In yesterday's video, we made $677.10, enough money to pay the rent. And it only took us a little bit over a half a tank to make that much money. A lot of people are worrying about gas. You're worrying about the wrong thing. You need to be worrying about cash. Yesterday, we did fill up. I had I actually took a photo for you guys because I was going to talk about it on yesterday's video, but I didn't want to stress the video out too long. So we're going to talk about it today. So we get the clap. Hey, baby, baby. Now, uh, right there. It cost us $58.26 to fill up the van. When we got to the drop-off location, we filled up the van. The light, the light was blinking, so it was almost empty. Again, I told you guys that we only used a little bit over a half a tank yesterday, so pretty much we're gonna sum it up to $35. It cost us $35 to make $677. You guys, stop thinking so small. You worrying about something so small like gas. You cannot, I, I, it, yes, it is an expense. You could, yes, it's something that you need to worry about, but that should not be your main focus. If your main focus is gas, do not start. I'm telling you right now, don't do it. You're going to be wasting your time and wasting your money and energy. Now, yesterday we made $677, and today we only made $125 so far. We don't know if we're going to get another order. We may or may not. I don't know what it's going to be. But with this stuff, it's going to be up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. That's just how it works for us. I don't know why we have a great day and then we have a real low day. Then we have a great day and then we have a low, and then we have some low, 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 great day. Low, low. It just go. That's just how it is for us for some odd reason. But if you are going to get into this business, you also can get a dedicated route. You can get your dedicated route. You can do this every day, Monday through Friday, some Saturdays. You can go out there and get busy. You're going to be dropping off packages or dropping off whatever you're going to be dropping off. You can do that. That's guaranteed money. With what we're doing, it's not guaranteed. So we're gonna have the up and down days. It's guaranteed money, but I do wanna say this. If you decide to go that route, you also are dedicated to that route, which means no matter what happened, rain, sleet, snow, I'm talking about extra hot outside, 112 degrees, whatever it may be, you, my friend, must be at that warehouse getting that route together so you can go out there and get that cheddar. If you decide, I don't wanna do that no more. If you decide you wanna skip some days, guess what they're going to give your route to someone else and then you're going to be out of luck 
then you're gonna be starting from ground zero. So this is why I recommend you guys have a million ways to make money. You need to have all the apps. If you wanna do a dedicated route, you need to have a dedicated route, all the apps, and maybe even a carrier company, two or three or four, in your pocket, so you can so, so you can to your pocket like a rocket. So you can make as much money as possible. Shoot out to my guy, Mark the Mentor. He does have a theory that he goes by, and he says if he get a van, then what he would do was, he would do a dedicated route, and then after your dedicated route, in the afternoon, closer to the evening, you're gonna do the, the, uh, the gig apps. That may be a good option for you guys. I'm just freelancing right now. I'm really just freelancing. That may be a good option for you guys. So you guys maybe want to go out there and uh, do some research. Think about that. Think about how you can get the best bang for your buck. And if you're hating, so what? I just want you guys to be aware and do your own due diligence because it looks good on this video. And I've been posting the videos. I'm running around and with the photo smack and all that. And then it be looking all cute and fun and stuff like that until you got your money invested into it. So I want you guys to be prepared and make the best choices for you. Because what I do does not mean it's going to work for you. And what Big CJ do does not mean it's going to work for you. And what the gig geezer and Rich Forever and all these different people, whatever they do does not mean it's going to work for you. Everybody is different and all of us are in different markets. So you might go over there and critique somebody else's stuff, but it may be different in your area. So you guys always got to think about that. But that is all I want to say for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you are not subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. We need to get this video to 1,000 likes. Every video I drop needs to get to 1,000 likes. So if you have a video from before that you didn't like, go ahead and go back and like that joint. We're trying to push this up on the YouTube algorithm so we can get that 100,000 subscribers and we can become some sliders, baby. We slide, baby. We slide to this money like it ain't funny. I will see you guys on the next one. Be going, be going, be flowing. You already know it. It's DDK, and I'm on my way.